Hello and welcome again to the other half of the Dimension deck. I'm Simon from Team Brink, and what we just got to was by order of the Emperor, which I put as a negate card, which could be quite helpful as a sort of dark ride. But continuing on to returning from removed from play, we have two DD survivors. Now when these are removed from the field from play, they come straight back into play. 1800 attack with 4 stars, so they're very helpful. And we also have a DDR, different dimension reincarnation. Discard one card from your hand and attach it to one remove from play monster. That comes back into play. And from then on it works as a uh, sort of a... What's the card I'm thinking of? Well, I can't, I can't pitch a card to it, so yeah. <laughs> very helpful. We then have some destruction cards. Uh, Mystical Space Typhoon for starters. Everybody knows what it does. I won't explain. Hammer Shot, uh, as I also explained in my Gravekeeper's video, which is very useful. Sakurets to armor, destroys uh, the attacking opponent's monitor. And from the Marek Structure deck, we have a Mirror Force. Now, everybody knows what Mirror Force does, it's a very juicy card. And I've got it in common, actually, which is quite cool. Next we have uh, my Remove From Play Monsters, which is the main basis of this deck. I have two DD Assailants. When this monster is destroyed by battle, this monster and the destroying monster are removed from play, which are very helpful, if you can see. Lovely colours. 1700 attack, 1600 defence, all guards. Very helpful. Then we have a Deed Warrior Lady. 4 stars, 1500 attack. When it destroys a monster, you can choose to remove this card and the opponent's destroyed monster from play. Sorry, when it battles, not destroys. So when this card battles your opponent's monster, you can choose to remove this card and your opponent's card from play. Something I've used against uh, Black Ring Armor Master before. It's got rid of it. Although it comes at a bit of a cost for 2500 attack, so I lose 1000. But still, it's handy. Next we have DD Crow. Discard this from your hand and remove from play one card in your opponent's graveyard. Quite handy. One star also can be used for uh, a um, nice synchro summon of something like Formula Run. And one of my favourite cards, I think my favourite card, Gandora the Dragon of Destruction. A uh, bit difficult to summon, well not difficult to summon, there's only two tributes required but a bit of a pain. But as soon as he's on the field, um, lose half your life points, remove from play every card on the field, and he gains 300 for every remove from play monster that was destroyed this way. And he's only on the uh, field for one turn, but when you can scream, come forth Gandora, I mean, who wouldn't? Love the card. We move on to the Nobleman of Crossout, destroys one f and removes from play one face down monster on the field and any other in the graveyard with the same name. We then come on to a Dark Core, discard one card and remove from play one face up monster on the field. Something again which is crucial to this deck, uh, two dimensional fishes. You now I got this in the starter deck Dark Emperor, where you also get a Caius, but I traded my Caius unfortunately. <sighs> Could do with the Caius right now. But if cards would be sent to the graveyard, they would then be removed from play, and this is a continuous, so it could help with something like Helios the Primordial Sun. I tried that out, but it slows the deck down a little bit. We then have a Sol Release. It's useful to have in your side uh, your side deck an additional Sol Release, as in you can just throw in an extra one. I may go through my side deck in a minute. Then we have a Bottomless Trap Hole. Again, removes from play one monster that summon 1500 or higher attack. Um, also a Karma Cut, it's a Noble Man across out essentially, removed from play one face up monster your opponent controls and any other in the graveyard with the same name. And a nice little card called Cloak of Dagger. Now this continuous trap and you activate it by declaring one card in your opponent's, one monster in your opponent's deck sorry, and if that is summoned at all by flip, special, normal, whatever. It's instantly removed from play along with any other cards 
Uh, yes. Uh, that's if there more than one is summoned. Then this card and those cards that were summoned are removed from play, which is quite handy. Right, I'll quickly go through my extra deck. To kick it all, we have a formula single. Now, I need to include a one star tuner in my deck. Um, probably a Fanvel guard, as it's got 2000 defense. And I have it in my Fortune Lady deck at the moment, which I'm still working on. Uh, and this aids with shooting star dragon summoning. Also, you get to draw a card when it's summoned. X Saber Wayne, which is helpful. Five stars, 2100 attack, and when it's summoned, you get to special summon one level four or lower warrior monster from your hand. We then have Junk Warrior, five stars, 2300 attack, and when it's summoned, any two star or lower monsters you have on your side of the field, it gains that attack. That's where Quillbot Hedgehogs come in handy. Then we have a Magical Android, a 5 star, 2400 attack. For every psychic monster on the field during your standby phase, it, you gain 600 life points. Turbo Warrior, which is one of my favourite synchrons, uh, synchros. 6 star, 2500 attack. It isn't affected by 6 star or lower effects. And when it attacks a 6 star or higher synchro monster, their attack is halved. Very juicy. I have a second one of them as well, because they come in handy. I have an X Saber Herbalum, a 7 star, 2200 attack. And when he inflicts battle damage to your opponent, if your opponent has 4 cards or higher in their hand, you get to return 1 card to the top of their deck. Good stalling. Then I have a Nitro Warrior, 7 star, 2,800 attack. And this is again, oops, sorry about that, again good for Junk Warrior and Quillbot Hedgehog, because also when he, when you activate a spell card while he's on the field, he gains 1,000 attack for the turn only. And also, if the card, this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can change one face up defense position monster your opponent controls to attack and attack again. Very nice. Then we come on to Stardust Dragon. Now I think out of Stardust Dragon and Ar Red Dragon Archfiend, it's my favorite one, just because it helps with the negation. Uh, although its ultimate form is slightly more difficult to summon. Um, but everybody knows what it does, so I won't go through that. Then we have Junk Destroyer, uh, an 8 star. Uh, 2,600 attack. Now when this is summoned, the number of non-tuner monsters you use to summon it, you can destroy that many cards on your opponent's side of the field. So I normally aim for quite low star summons, so say a DD Crow, Junk Synchron, uh, and, um, a Zero Gardener, let's say. So that means I get to destroy two cards on the opponent's side of the field, which is quite handy. Then we have a Colossal Fighter, essential to anybody's deck that contains Warriors. Um, also helpful against Warrior decks, because it gains 100 for every Warrior in the graveyard of either player. 8 star, 2800 attack. And then finally, Shooting Star Dragon. Now he requires shoot Stardust Dragon and Formula Synchron to be summoned. It doesn't specify Formula Synchron, but seeing as Formula Synchron is the only Synchro tuner, uh, I think you can safely say it needs Formula Synchron. Now this is quite a few effects, and you can activate any of these per turn, uh, just once though. Reveal the top five cards of your deck, and it can attack for the number of tuner monsters you have in those five cards. You then shuffle them back into your deck. You can negate the activation of effect that would destroy a card on the field and destroy that card. When your opponent's monster attacks, uh, declares an attack, sorry, you can select it, then remove this card from play to negate the attack. During the end phase, special summon this card that was removed from play by this effect. So it's quite handy. 10 stars, however, with 3,300 attack. So I think even with Red Nova Dragon, possibly could pip that. May need a bit of help from some of the cards. But that's my extra deck. I'll pretty much sum up my side deck. I've got two consecrated lights for any black wings or general dark decks I go against. And I think 
The only other cards I have in there so far are Soul Release, uh, a DDM, Different Dimension Master, to return other cards from play, and a Bazoo the Soul Eater, which powers up from removing cards from play. If anybody else has any suggestions, then feel free to add a comment. I would be very grateful. But that's bye for now, and I may be coming back with my Fortune Lady deck. Thank you, guys. 